Government Science Secondary School Kagera is surrounded by hills and trees without a fence, making it susceptible to easy entry by outsiders. The student's hostel is also in a shambles, looking like a war-torn area. Building with falling ceilings and broken windows and doors. Armed men took advantage of the lack of security in the school and stormed the staff quarters and hostels where they abducted at least 41 persons. Addressing journalists at the government house in Mina, Governor Abubakar Bello says his administration inherited the decay and is trying hard to fix it before the attack. When we came in 2015, we started the whole school approach. Basically, what we did was started rebuilding the schools. And each school cost close to about 350 million or more to do. They were so bad that they didn't have toilets, no fence, no roof. They had blown off roofs, staffs living in very bad conditions. So we decided instead of doing uh, temporary measures, we should rebuild those schools. The governor also explains how many schools in the state were long abandoned by past administrations. I know we politicians, we like to, we like to cut the tape. But if we don't maintain what previous administrations have done, because we want to do a new one and cut tapes, we'll find ourselves in a very difficult situation. And that is what is happening. These schools you see have been built 30, 40 years ago. Some of them have not seen paint in 40 years. No paint, no fence. Yes, then 40 years ago there was a bit of peace. Uh, we, we do not have the security challenges we have now, so it was okay then. But now, our schools must be fenced. The state government has ordered the shutdown of all boarding schools in four local government areas, namely Shiroro, Munya, Rafi and Mariga, where bandits constantly attack. With many schools in Niger State still suffering from infrastructural decay and lack of security, there are fears that even those outside the four local government areas may not be safe from possible attacks. Emperor Simon, Channels Television News.